Hi everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm experiencing issues with my usual narrator for the fourth time and have to use a substitute. I hope you can bear with me. Anyway, it's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The ancient map of Pure Race was a marvel of cartography, both in its time and even in modern times. Its accuracy and level of detail had astonished contemporaries and continued to baffle historians and cartographers centuries later. The map, which was one of several from 1513 showing unknown lands, impossible knowledge, and superb accuracy, depicted both the Americas, including regions that had not yet been officially discovered by European explorers. Rice's map was an enigma, as it should not exist according to conventional wisdom. There was simply no way anyone could have drawn such an accurate map so long ago, especially where according to mainstream history, at that time, technology and knowledge were very limited. It was particularly remarkable that the map accurately depicted the coastline of the Americas, a feat that was not achieved by European cartographers until many years later. One of the reasons that Rice's map was so astounding was that it was created at a time when the technology for calculating longitude simply did not exist. The first instrument for calculating longitude, the marine chronometer, was not invented until 1761 by John Harrison. Prior to that, sailors and cartographers had to rely on less precise methods for determining longitude, such as using celestial navigation and dead reckoning. These methods were prone to error, particularly over long distances, and were not accurate enough to create a map with the level of precision depicted on Race's map. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Dmitry Mendeleev was a Russian chemist who is famous for his work on the periodic table. However, there was one discovery that he made that was not related to chemistry, but rather to the field of physics. It was the discovery of a secret element that could revolutionize the world of energy. In 1906, Mendeleev wrote in his writings, The problem of gravitation and the problems of all energy cannot be imagined as really solved without a real understanding of the ether as a world medium that transmits energy to distances. He had stumbled upon a new element that he believed could help unlock the mysteries of the universe and allow for the transmission of energy over vast distances. This was an incredible discovery, one that could have changed the world as we know it. However, after Mendeleev's death, the ether was cut from all his tables. His research notes and documents were removed, and his discovery was buried deep within the archives. The reasons for this remain unclear, but many speculate that it had to do with the political climate at the time. Despite this setback, scientists continued to explore the idea of transmitting energy through the ether. Even 100 years ago, ways of transmitting energy through the air via the ether were claimed by the most famous scientists. However, without Mendeleev's secret element, progress was slow. Today, we can rejoice in wireless phone charging and other similar technologies. But what if Mendeleev's discovery had been allowed to see the light of day? What kind of world could we be living in today? The question of why important discoveries are cut from books, documents removed, and scientists suddenly dying remains a mystery. It could be due to political reasons or the desire to keep certain information hidden from the public. Whatever the reason, it is clear that Mendeleev's discovery was a missed opportunity, and we can only wonder what other groundbreaking discoveries have been lost to history. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
Long ago in ancient Egypt, the people believed in powerful gods who controlled the forces of nature. They built grand temples and statues to honor these gods and worshiped them with great fervor. Among the many symbols and signs used in their religious ceremonies and daily life, one of the most famous was the Ankh. The Ankh was a simple yet elegant symbol that represented life and immortality. It consisted of a loop at the top, symbolizing the sun rising over the horizon, and a straight line below, representing the path of the Nile River. Together, they formed a powerful symbol of the life-giving force of the sun and the importance of water in the arid Egyptian landscape. But there was another symbol that appeared in ancient Egypt, one that was not as well known, but just as intriguing. It was a depiction of a device that resembled a modern Tesla coil, with a flat inductor and an overhead inductor arrangement. This device was not used in any religious context, but was instead represented as a real technical device to the public. The Egyptians were renowned for their technological advancements, from their impressive pyramids to their intricate irrigation systems. It was not uncommon for them to incorporate their technological innovations into their art and symbols. The depiction of the Tesla coil-like device was one such example. As time passed, the symbol of the Ankh became more well-known and widely used, while the symbol of the Tesla coil-like device faded into obscurity. It was not until centuries later that the true nature of the symbol was rediscovered and its similarity to the modern-day Tesla coil was recognized. Scientists and historians alike were fascinated by the possibility that the Egyptians may have possessed knowledge of electrical technology far beyond what was previously thought. Some even speculated that the Tesla coil-like device may have been used for practical purposes, such as lighting or communication. What do you think? Finding against history, lakes drained in China. The floating dragon caves were discovered after pumping water into a lake thought to be bottomless. The discovery of man-made structures completely contradicts history. The entrance to the underground structures was made thousands of years ago. Presumably, the caves were created during the Qin Dynasty, that is, in 221 BC. The average area of each of the 24 caves is more than a thousand square meters. The technology of excavations of such volume remains unknown, and in the historical sources there is not a single word about the construction or about the very existence of the caves. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.